work on the first time, on the first try. So you have to be able to keep switching momentum. Coming up on top, he's wizarding hard. He's coming up on bottom, he's basing. Take your wizard out. This way, thank you. Basing. Oh, it's not working. And I'm going to come back on top again this way. That kind of thing. Oh, one way or the other. One way or the other. Then I'm going up for a knee tap or a wizard, um, um, limp arming a wizard, or I'm coming underneath for old school sweep. Or I'm coming underneath for electric chair. Or I'm coming back on top for you know dog fight game. That kind of stuff. You need to always be pushing the momentum to a different you know route. You gotta flow, right? Be like water. Same thing with this. I'm getting this butterflies in, trying to pull him in to get underneath him. Right? If that's not working. Then, or as soon as I get a clinch in here, you feel him sitting back. Yes, to try to pummel his arms in. So now if, I, if he's doing that, I'm going to be uh, bringing one foot in to crank coat. He needs to have a So here, this is on, on the, right now we're going to add to the little flow. Right here, just going to be a direct shot kind of. I'm coming in to close his grip. You feel him sitting back. Start coming up, cranking. Knee slides pass. Yesterday, some of you guys were having problem with having uh, problems with this drill because the person on top was not sitting back to like prevent. You know what I mean? Sometimes people are trying to pummel in or even just cross face to push it away, and that's when we respond to this. It's hard for you to do this when they're trying to be heavy on you. That's when you would go underneath them. You know what I mean? That's when you would pull them on top and start lifting and start going to whatever it is that you want to do. If they're sitting back, then we're going that way. See what I mean? So it's either one way or the other. So you're just going in here to secure, bam! Depending on how he responds is what we're going to do. Here we go again. So person on top, that's a cue for you guys. As soon as they close a grip on you, you're trying to do this. You're here, as soon as they close a grip on you, they're trying to push the head away, try to maybe double under pass, or just that ah, frame, ugh, push you away. Right. And when he starts sitting back and doing that, you're going to feel that, how much easier it's going to be for you to scoop back, bring one foot in, start cranking to sit up. Don't think that you have to do this off of your own energy of you doing this. I can just stop, but this grip right here, they're gonna be pulling back to try to break this grip and cross face you. That's a good opposite force for you to pull to come in, to come up on top. It's gonna pull you on top. Here, boom, as soon as I close that grip, I feel him sitting back, coming up, cranking. Got it? Give it a try. Ready? One, two.